Yo, Elliot. Hey, so our buddy Manuel has uh, has been training since April of this year. He's lost like 30 pounds. Body fat percentage has dropped several points. He's, he wants to, to lose more, but he's stuck. He tells me he's doing all the right things. He says he's eating about 1,700 calories a day. His, he describes his macros. They seem all good. He has one cheat day, or one cheat meal a week. Works out three times a week. He does cardio. Seems to be doing all the right things, but he's stuck. He's at 21% body fat. He, want to get, he wants to get down to 14, 15%. All the things that he's doing now has gotten, to, gotten him to where he is, but are no longer supporting him in getting to the next phase. So here's what I'm going to invite you to do. To reset your metabolism. This is a term my uncle has come up with and he's given me a diet that I've used and in fact it's actually the template that I used when I created my lean hybrid muscle meal plan. Right? And if you've seen these videos, very old videos I've created about lean hybrid muscle uh, hybrid meal plan. Um, this is the, the, what I share with you in that video is a template my uncle gave me with regard to resetting the metabolism so that you become more insulin sensitive and you cleanse a lot of the toxins out of your body so that you can restart your ability to get, to get results. A lot of people have been doing the same thing for so long that the body's like, oh, fuck you. I already know what to do. You, you, you gotta shake it up on me. You gotta shock your body. So, the way this cleanse goes, and I'm, I'm doing this off the top of my head, see if I remember, but again, like you can, you can go check my old videos from like 2009. You're gonna begin by drinking two gallons of water a day. This is difficult, but you're gonna choke them down. Two gallons of water a day for the first three days. During those three days, you're eating only chicken breast, not even chicken breast, I'm sorry, turkey breast, tuna, like the driest, purest protein you can, you can eat. Chicken breast even has too much fat. So like turkey breast and tuna, you're eating it for, you know, three or four meals, spread it out three or four meals a day for those first three days, along with unlimited cruciferous vegetables. My uncle has explained that broccoli is your best bet for those three days. He says that it has something to do with the hormones. I don't understand it. You know, Prent tend to, but he's, you know, he's my, he's my go-to guy with regard to a lot of the, the, the body sculpting and fat loss stuff. He says, look, broccoli does something to your hormones, uh, you know, suppresses estrogen or something like that, where if you want to get leaner and drop a lot of water weight, burn some body fat, this is what you're gonna wanna do. So those are the first three days. On the third day, on the fourth day, right? Because now, let's say that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So you got three more days. Those next three days, what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna do the same thing with the amount of vegetables. Eat all the broccoli you want. I eat broccoli almost every single day. So you're gonna eat broccoli those particular days as well. But switch from the low fat meat protein sources to higher fat. So you're, now you're gonna include your steak, your buffalo meat, your chicken breast, higher fat, juicier forms of, uh, of protein. So you're increasing your calories somewhat. What you're also going to do during those three days is you're gonna cut back to only one gallon of water. Right, this is how the cleanse works. Then on the weekend, you're going to, you're gonna increase your carbohydrate intake. I think, I, I can't remember the exact percentage, but basically just eat as much carbohydrates as you want on Saturday. See how you feel on Sunday, whether or not you want to continue eating. If you spill over, right, if you eat a lot of carbohydrates, and try to keep the carbohydrates clean. Brown rice and, um, and, and potatoes, sweet potatoes are your best bet on Saturday and perhaps Sunday. But you're only drinking half a gallon of water. Right? And this all has to do with the, I did a video on this actually, like the hormones associated with water regulation. Go and search this channel. I'll try to find it and, and link it up. Um, but I don't remember those. I did that like three years ago. Those videos, I described the hormones that are associated with, uh, with hyperhydration and dehydration. And it helps you shed a lot of the water retention in your body. It does a number of things. It detoxes your body because it gets rid of a lot of the, the toxins that are stored in your tissue. When you rinse out that way, you're gonna be peeing like a racehorse. 
and it, it'll create this insulin sensitivity situation where you haven't had any carbohydrates all week and now your body, it's reintroduced and your body uses, sucks it up right away. Right now you might just be spilling over all over the place. You know, you might not have drained your glycogen, gly, glycogen stores uh, while maintaining the, the amount of carbohydrates that you're maintaining in your, your current meal plan. It's not to say that carbohydrates are bad, but you ha your insulin sensitivity is diminished. So this is what we want to have happen. So that is a cleanse. It's a shock diet. I would not do it more than two weeks. Shock your system with two straight weeks of this particular, um, I'm going to call it a cleanse. It's a bit of a cleanse, but it's just, it's a shock diet. And, uh, and then go back and see how you respond to your old diet and then hopefully things will start snowballing again in, in, in the right direction. So I hope that helps, dude. Keep us posted. Um, comment in the comment area below and you guys thumbs it up. If you noticed, I, I don't read all the comments. But if you guys thumbs it up, I usually see the ones that are thumbs up. You thumbs it up and if you comment to let us know if this works for you, I'd be grateful and I'm sure every, everybody else would be as well. That's it, dude. Talk to you next time. Yo, Elliot.